Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the Farts and Crap Show. It's Danjo. I got a little bit of a random tech tip video for you guys. Um, this was a weird one, so I thought, hey, I should really make a video on this. And hopefully by the time you guys see this, um, the issue is already resolved. But if you've been having the no unifying receiver problem with Logitech options, uh, here to describe the issue and exactly how to fix it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is Logitech Options. Um, you basically use this if you have a device that needs a Logitech unifying receiver to kind of customize what it does on your operating system. Now, this was this program was not working at all i would open it it said no devices detected no unifying receiver detected and uh, i finally got it back like permanently i can restart my computer now and it will still be there and this is how you fix the underlying problem again this is not sponsored in any way by any of these companies i'm going to mention this is purely my um, troubleshooting experience, and that's it. That's it. So um, here's how to fix. So first off, Logitech Options, you want to uninstall that. Do a clean uninstall. Make sure you download the latest installer from their website for your operating system. Next, you're going to want to go into your system settings. Go to system at the bottom of the list click about and then on the right side under related settings go to advanced system settings that will open system properties dialog box go ahead and click the hardware tab and then click device installation settings that will open this window on the left and go ahead and click no and saves settings what this will do is this will make sure Windows Update does not try to install the most up-to-date drivers for whatever devices are detected on your system. This is going to be necessary for at least the duration of this fix. Um, if you already knew about this part, good on you. Thanks. Now this is after the fix. This is the device manager. If you guys don't know how to open the device manager, um, you just right click the bottom left start icon it will show a little list device manager will be one of the items on the list go ahead and open it once uh, you open it expand human interface devices keyboards and mice and other pointing devices now if anywhere you see logitech unifying receiver logitech hid logitech usb device anything like the these examples um, go ahead and do this next step and right click the device open properties you will get the device properties dialog box click the second tab labeled driver next click the second from the bottom option which should say disable device if it says enable device then go ahead and skip this step it's already disabled third click the bottom option uninstall device next it'll open this uninstall device dialog uh, uh, dialog system dialog window <laughs> there we go and uh, make sure delete the driver software to the device is checked you do want to delete it and then uninstall so essentially when you do this ordinarily if you had skipped the previous step Windows Update, if set to automatic, would try to reinstall the correct driver for your device. However, we don't want this. Because next, you want to open and run as administrator the Logitech Options installer that we downloaded in the first step. As this is setting up, it will automatically download and install the drivers for your device and the unifying receiver. 
Now, if you're using IOBit or similar system optimization software, you may have to disable or ignore device updates similarly to how we already did in Windows 10. Hopefully these are set to automatic and usually it will prompt you, especially since it's third-party software, but different programs are different. Just make sure you ignore these updates because as you can see, they were recent. They, the date matches March 10th on both of these. Um, and it's actually just probably best to do a manual scan for any driver updates. And um, I mean, some people might be using Driver Booster and not be using other IOBit products. So just make sure those Logitech USB device updates are ignored. Once you've gone through the previous step of installing Logitech options again, you have the correct drivers. So either make sure these are ignored individually or Windows Update is essentially not trying to download and install drivers along with Windows security and OS updates. Now, if you do use IOBits products and specifically uh, Advanced System Care, you are also going to want to go into there and click the Speed Up tab. Now, on the middle top, you're going to want to click the Startup Optimization um, selection, I guess, and manage that. Now, in Quick Optimization, it will show Logi Options as something you might want to disable. Ignore that because you want it to definitely be enabled. And to make sure it's still enabled, go ahead and click the next tab, Startup Items, and Logitech uh, Logi Options should be there. And that's going to do it. And this is, um, I've been using Logitech devices for a very long time, and I've been using IOBit for a very long time as well. Um, like many years and this is just this is a weird one because the unifying receiver has been around for a very very long time and it was recognized in device manager like it was it's and with driver booster as well it's really rare really rare they suggest to update a driver that shouldn't be updated. I think it's really, really rare, rare. It's also strange to me that the devices are not even recognized in Device Manager when they're properly installed. Because I believe that was the first thing I checked. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I also have a separate wireless uh, Logitech keyboard and mouse, but they're Bluetooth. I prefer this device, which is 2.4 gigahertz, um, less latency, less interruption from other devices, all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And a fun little thing, if uh, you guys are also if you guys also have your favorite Logitech devices, um, not to be like a a shill, a shrill, a shill, a shrill would be a shill, a corporate shill. Yeah, I mean, Logitech is as frustrating as much as <laughs> I like their keyboards and mice and stuff. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, if you want to make a suggestion to people uh, in the comment section. Actually, let's just open it up beyond Logitech. What's your favorite 
keyboard and mice and or mice no no just or keyboard or mouse that specific hid component that you really like and you would suggest to anybody that would hear you out go ahead and put it in the comment section personally the k400 plus i really love this thing but i would not suggest it to everybody um especially if you already have like a, a really decent computer desk mine is not mine is not that but i prefer to have everything on one device that i can just like easily put to the side instead of having a whole lap desk or yeah essentially and to me that's why i love this thing because I also have a lap desk, but it's much more bulky, and then I could put my keyboard and my mouse on there. And it works very well, but it's a lot less convenient. So, um, for me and my workstation, that's why I like this thing. But, um, yeah, thanks for hearing me out, guys. I hope this helped you and uh, fixed your issue, if you were having this issue. Um, and if you weren't, and you were looking at this one be like i don't know don't update to that uh, to that driver in fact i didn't even know logitech options installed drivers for devices but now that i think about it it makes sense and um in your driver update stuff just just ignore your logitech devices i guess um, if they are handled by logitech options there we go, that seems like a pretty safe suggestion, but I um, hope the process itself helped you out. Hope you have a beautiful day. Uh, remember to like and subscribe it if, you know, greatly helps out the channel. Or uh, if you know somebody that's also been having issues with their Logitech devices, maybe send this their way. And, um, you know, hopefully it helps them out. But anyway, have a beautiful day and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ta for now.